Hello, Kids Life Kids. How are you today? Look, someone left me a present. Uh, see? I can't wait to open them. What do you think is in them? <sighs> Candy? Maybe some money? I don't know. I can't wait any longer. Let's open them. Oh, look, they're empty. That's all right, I've got more. It's empty too. Ah, they're all empty. Well, that's confusing. I wonder why they're all empty. I was really looking forward to a treat. Maybe some chocolate. That makes me think of another time when someone was surprised when something was empty. After Jesus was crucified and buried, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb looking for him. John 20, 11 reads, Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. She was sad because she thought she had lost something important. She thought the empty tomb was a loss. But let's keep reading the story. She turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it you're looking for? Thinking that he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you put him, I'll go get him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned to him and cried out in Arabic, Aramaic, <laughs> Rabboni, which means teacher. She was so happy to see him. If you were reading the Bible with me, it has a little exclamation mark there. The tomb was empty because God had something better in mind. Sometimes the best gifts that we get are things that we don't get. We don't get justice because Jesus paid our debt. Guess what else is missing? Because Jesus came back to life and defeated death. Guilt, shame, fear. So today, let's praise Jesus for the present of things that are not there and celebrate the resurrection. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the present of things that are not there. Every good and perfect gift comes from you. And when we don't understand why we don't get something we want, help us trust your goodness and your plan. Amen. Happy Resurrection Sunday. He is risen. Love you, Kids Life Kids. See you soon.